it is League Start time, and that means that you need a good League Start build. Because Path of Exile 3.23 Affliction League has some of the largest changes to the metagame that we have ever seen. You'll want to make sure that that first build is real solid so that you can bring it into the Wildwood. Within the Wildwood, you will be collecting Wisps, as well as fighting off enemies in the darkness. And once you've collected all these Wisps, they'll come with you and buff all of the enemies in the map that you came from. These buffed enemies will drop tons of additional loot and get some additional difficulty. On top of that, every single class has got three brand new ascendancies that you can have on top of your original. There's tons of powerful options here and a lot to look forward to. Oh yeah, and did I mention like a hundred plus new gems have been added to the game? These are transfigured gems. Essentially, they've made alternate versions of almost every single main skill gem in the game and just tossed well over a hundred of them at us at this point. There's tons to do in Affliction League, so let's talk about some builds. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and without further ado, let's get into it. Now, starting off here, I would say that this is probably the best build for newer players and most likely Righteous Fire refugees. Righteous Fire did get some pretty heavy changes slash nerfs, and uh, I would go with whatever Pox says still, but it's not looking great early on for RF. So why don't you just get a big giant minion that has its own RF that covers three quarters of the screen, and on top of that, you can have a bunch of little minions that'll do single target damage for you. It is super easy, SSF friendly, an extremely tanky build. It does pretty well all the way up through the campaign into early maps and can handle a lot of the early pinnacle bosses. And one of the biggest bonuses about this build is the fact that once you get the Sentinel of Radiance, you essentially don't have to do anything anymore through the entirety of the campaign. This guy will carry you all the way through and you don't even have to worry about anything except shield charging through zones and picking up loot. I highly suggest that you give this build a shot. I do have an in-depth guide for this as linked up in the right corner now as well as in the description down below. And all of the builds from all of the other content creators will be listed down there as well. Next on the list, for anybody who's interested in playing a melee build, we have the Bone Shatter Slayer by Karn. Now, Bone Shatter's gotten a pretty decent amount of changes this league, and whether or not it's a very slight nerf or potentially a pretty large buff is yet to be seen. However, what we do know is that the build is still absolutely excellent. In previous leagues, I had put out a Bone Shatter Juggernaut guide. However, the super high end of the Juggernaut might potentially be pretty nerfed, and it looks like this layer is just kind of ending up being the better build. So I highly suggest that you follow Karn for this. He is the Bone Shatter guy, so much that one of the new alt qualities literally got named after him. And the Bone Shatter Slayer uses a bunch of really super interesting mechanics. Make sure that you go follow Karn so you can see any updates that he makes to this build as we get information on the new Transfigured Gems and he does some more testing with all that kind of stuff because this is the Bone Shatter guy. If there's anybody that's going to figure it out, it's Karn. Third on the list, we have Vol Flame Blast Ignite from Jungrone. Now you might know about Jungrone from all of his like speedrunning and racing content where he basically goes through the entirety of the game getting the first two watchstones and as little time as possible he's posted like eight or nine of those this league so far and a whole bunch of different builds but the one that stood out to me was this flame blast ignite build this uses a pretty interesting mechanic on the tree that allows you to essentially just extend the duration of ignites infinitely meaning that you can use just a somewhat clunky skill that does a huge amount of damage and then just extend that ignite essentially forever this is an extremely well-rounded build it might be slightly clunky Funky for some people if you're not very good at timing because of the way that Vol Flame Blast works. And it does use Wave of Conviction early, which some people are not a huge fan of, but this build is exceptionally strong and once you do learn how to pilot it, is very good for bossing, clearing, and all kinds of other good stuff. Next on the list, we have Caustic Arrow Poison Ballistas by Palstron. Now, it's no surprise that Palstron has made another Ballista slash Totem League starter, but this one has gotten a pretty decent update this league. With the addition of Tinctures and the ability to have all sorts sources of damage poison, it is going to be significantly easier to make a bow for this build, meaning that it is going to be way stronger for way less gear. Ballistas are a super safe playstyle. You can essentially just drop them down and run away and let them do the damage for you. However, if you are someone who likes doing the damage yourself or likes being upfront in their business, this may not be the playstyle for you. That said, extremely powerful build, way easier to gear this league and something that I can highly recommend. Lastly, we've got the Splitting Steel Champion by Rue. Now, Rue doesn't really make YouTube videos. He pretty much only streams over on Twitch, so I don't have a lot of footage of this. However, I have played Splitting Steel a lot in the past, and Splitting Steel this league has gotten some pretty significant changes. Hall of Steel is gone from the normal version of this gym, and it works essentially the same exact way it did previously. You're still going to be able to overlap all of your projectiles. You're still going to have excellent clear, excellent damage. And Rue has made a pretty early league-friendly build that uses a ton of very easy-to-get uniques, so I do highly recommend
recommend if you liked my old version of splitting steel from before, this version should be perfectly fine and it should get you through pretty much all content in the game. The full Google Doc for Rue has been linked down in the description. There's a couple other builds that he makes as well, so make sure to go check those out. As I said, he doesn't make YouTube videos, but he is one of the best build creators in Path of Exile. And that is going to be it for the video. This is looking to be an absolute banger of a league. There's so many things to be excited about. I've got a ton of build ideas that I want to work through, and I feel like I simply am just not going to have enough time to try all of it. So if you didn't like any of these ideas, there's plenty of other build guides out there from reputable content creators. Look at some of the other builds that the people that I mentioned in this video have available for you. I'm sure you'll be able to find something. And remember, boys, if you enjoy this content, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos, and stay safe out there in Rayclast. And I'll see you guys in the next video.